Hey everybody, it's Party Elite here with something very different today, actually. Uh, this isn't a battle showcase or anything, but instead it is a showcase or, I suppose, a tutorial for a tool that I recently developed. Uh, as many of you know, I am a massive fan of the multiplayer scene when it comes to Total War, currently specifically with the Warhammer games. There are some amazing tournaments happening on a near weekly basis, I believe. We've got some fantastic live casters out there, some absolutely amazing YouTube channels that showcase battles, both from tournaments and from other online battles. As always, I'm a huge fan of all of it. So, I wanted to make this tool that will hopefully help the multiplayer scene, and I think maybe more specifically live casters, just add some spice to their uh, to their casts. It's something that I've worked on over the last handful of weeks, just while videos are rendering or uploading, things like that. Just a little side project for myself, I guess. And uh, I'll kind of describe how it works and, and show you the ropes, and hopefully it's something you guys find useful. Now, what it is, is basically a versus screen that uh, appears like so. So it pops up and it brings in the factions that have been selected, which players are playing, the tournament name, what round it is, things like that. Just something that maybe can be used to help add some more uh, variety, I guess, to a stream. Something that can be used even as a transition between, you know, the uh, faction selection screen perhaps and the battlefield, something like that. But uh, again, I tried to create something that would be really easy to use and maybe we'll get some actual use out there. So just to give you an example of how it's actually used and how I hope simple it is to use, we're going to take a look at exactly what is what needs to be done to make it work. So down below in the description, there's going to be a URL and that URL is rickettypixel.com slash party elite slash TWWH2 tournament. It's a long one, so it's down there. You can bookmark it. I will not be changing this URL and if I do, I'll make a redirect so you don't have to worry about losing it. Um, it'll take you to this site. And this site is not very pretty, to be fair. It's a pretty basic site. I've tried to keep it as stripped down as possible so that you can actually have these sites open and refreshing and stuff if you need to when you're casting and it doesn't eat up more bandwidth than it needs to. I hope this form is really easy to navigate and understand, but just to give you an example of how it works, um, well, you basically fill out what it asks you to fill out. So we're gonna say tournament name is big ol' tourney because that's how creative I am right now. Player one name, we're going to say Party Elite because I don't want to use anyone else's name without permission. And then you get to choose the factions they're playing as. So let's go ahead and say we've got uh, the Beastmen going up against Not Party Elite. And Not Party Elite is going in as, um, hmm, let's see. Well, again, so just to let you know, all of the factions are in here. So uh, you should be able to pick any one of the factions. You can also type in to sort of navigate and, and find different factions. So Not Party Elite is going to go in as the Dark Elves. And you can pick which round it is as well. We're going to say it's round four for this one so that's all the information you need to pass through and you click this generate link button and that is going to punch out a link that looks absolutely horrendous so i've hidden it you just click copy result link and now it's been copied to your uh, clipboard now if by mistake you copy something else by mistake without realizing it all you need to do is just click generate link again and then hit copy result link again and it'll be back on your clipboard then you head on over to obs now i use obs for recording and casting and stuff uh, if you don't, hopefully you can find a similar uh, source or similar setup. But basically what you want to do is you want to add a source, and it's a browser source. Now, newer editions of OBS, if I'm not mistaken, come with this by default. Older editions, you can get browser source as a plugin. It's very easy to install. You install that, you open up browser source, you create a new browser source, name it whatever you'd like. And over here, you paste in that URL we just picked up. Uh, now, we'll change the width to 1920 and the height to 1080. That's what this has been set up to work as. And you want to make sure you've checked shut down source when not visible. You check that and you hit OK. So you'll see a little preview on this left window over here of what that's going to, what that's actually going to look like. And what you can do is you can turn off the browser source. You know, you have your conversation, you're talking about the matchup, who's playing, etc., etc. They've picked their factions. You activate browser source, you hit transition, and boom. In comes Beastmen versus Dark Elves, Party Elite versus Not Party Elite, round four of the big old tourney, whatever it might be, etc., etc., etc. You transition yourself to the battlefield. Maybe you're hiding unit selection, you're hiding deployment, whatever it might be. Uh, you know, still your show, do what you want. And then you hide the browser source and you hit transition again and you know you are wherever you want people to be now let's say that battle goes through and finishes and you're now it's the final round and it's party elite versus not party elite and we're going to uh we're going to see so again you can change the names or anything so it's still party elite playing this time as uh let's say he wants to go in as the empire and he's playing against not party elite still obviously and it is going to be the uh, green skins on this end and it is now the final round so again you just go in there you quickly change what settings you need to change generate link copy result link, 
go back to OBS and now you already have your browser so source, sorry. So you just dive in there and you can replace this URL. So you just paste the new URL, hit okay. You can turn it on to make sure the changes have been applied here really quickly. So you can see we've got Empire versus Greenskins. Okay, excellent. I'm introducing, you know, Party Elite versus not Party Elite. That was a great final battle, etc., etc. We're on to the final round. And this time it looks like we're going to have the Empire brought in by Party Elite versus the Greenskins from Not Party Elite is the final round of the big old tourney. Whatever you want to do, right? Whatever whatever floats your boat, I guess. And there you have it. So it's a very simple transition mechanic that I wanted to develop. Hopefully it's easy to understand and use. Uh, it is sort of in beta form. So if it's confusing, if you're not sure, if something doesn't make sense, let me know. I'm always open to feedback. I might even put the little tutorial link over here so you can always access it easily. Um, but yeah, all of these things can be changed on the go. Like if your next matchup is between Party Elite 2 and, uh, and 2 not 2 Party Elite, because we have to make Fast and Furious jokes, obviously, you hit generate link, and now when you copy that over and you put it into your uh, browser source, it will have the new player names in there instead. As you can see, we'll just do a little preview over here, but you'll see we've got Party Elite 2 versus Oh god, 2 not 2 Party Elite. Um, so all of these factors can be updated on the go, on the fly, as you're casting. If these things don't make sense, if this tutorial has been unclear, let me know in the comments. Let me know on Discord, you know, direct message me, whatever it might be. More than happy to try and walk you guys through this stuff. Hopefully it's a useful tool. Hopefully it sees some use. Uh, if you find it really useful, I'd greatly appreciate if you do consider either tipping or supporting through Patreon. Uh, or even just giving a mention if you plan on using this during your tournaments. But honestly, at the end of the day, I just wanted to do something to uh, give to the community. I'm a big fan of all of these casters and tournaments, all the effort that goes in from all of you guys out there. So uh, hopefully this is a nice, helpful contribution. Um, that would make me really happy. Even if I just see it used, I would be quite, quite happy, to be perfectly honest. As always, um, I'm open to feedback. This is in beta form, as said before as well. So let me know what I can do to make it better. I might be dolling things up a bit more. But uh, yeah, that is what this video is about. A little bit of a tool that hopefully finds some use out there for all you wonderful casters of battles and tournaments out there. Thank you very much for watching. As always, a massive thanks to all of my viewers, subscribers, patrons, everything. It makes such a big difference to me. You are the reason, you are the motivation why I make things like this, why I feel like doing these little extra things. It makes a massive difference. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for all of your support. As always, until next time, thank you very much for watching, and cheers.